All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from Hot Butcher for the World, and they're out of Chicago, Illinois, and this is a deeper dish. So this is a triple IPA that comes in at 10.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs list in time of review. This can is approximately seven weeks old, and I want to give a huge thanks and shout out once again to Hot Butcher and more specifically, Jeremiah for hooking me up with this one. So thank you very much, good sir. In the description box, I'll post a link to the Beer Mail unboxing video I did. It contains all the goodies they sent my way. Jeremiah has been hooking me up with Hot Butcher goodness for the last four or five months. And uh, I really do appreciate it, Jeremiah. So thank you, man. Uh, so this beer, I'm really curious about it because this is basically the... Um, uh, older sibling to their Tavern Cut, which I have reviewed on the channel. They both use Citra and Vic Secret uh, hops. And uh, that one, Tavern Cut, was 7.5%, so a double IPA, and this one is 10.5%, so a triple. And uh, I really enjoyed a Tavern Cut. I believe I called it a uh, fridge beer in my review. I just remember it being really uh, heavy on the citrus, like juicy qualities, but it was like a, a fridge beer. And what I mean by that is that something I just want to go into the fridge, drink, and not have to contemplate all the flavors and whatnot. Really good beer. I really did enjoy it. So I'm curious to see how the uh, the um, older sibling is, so to speak. I think it's going to be pretty tasty. I've come to highly enjoy, if not love, triple IPAs over the last year, year and a half. And I've had a couple from Hot Butcher, and they've both been damn tasty. And this one sounds right in my wheelhouse. So let's give it a go. Crack it open. Now, seven weeks uh, old is um, a little bit unfortunate, but that's on me. Um, when Jeremiah sent this my way, it was probably a couple weeks old, uh, maybe even fresher than that. But, you know, I've had some personal um, issues and whatnot over the past couple months. So, you know, the beer has been put on the back burner. I've mentioned this in so many Hot Butcher reviews, but other reviews as well. So just want to let you know that the freshness is not on Jeremiah or Hot Butcher. It's on me. Um, but I do like my triple IPs in like the four to six week range. So seven weeks old. I think we'll be all right. And I can smell it. Smells fantastic. So anyway, yeah, it has this hazy, uh, deeper orange color, very murky, turbid. Can't really see through. It looks kind of like, uh, you know, very pulpy, so to speak. Has about a finger of this off-white, super creamy looking head, and I can see alcohol legs all over the place. It is 10.5%, so that does not surprise me. Oh, yeah, tasting notes in the back. Now, here's something funny. Um, it says sweet orange pulp. And that's what I pretty much got out of Tavern Cut. It was like this super sweet, not super sweet, super pulpy, but sweet orange. And I don't remember the taste of notes saying the same thing. I could be wrong. could be correct. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, it also says uh, floral grapefruit and ripe tropical. So I remember that one having, you know, uh, heavy citrus character too, but that sweet pulpy orange, definitely for sure. Anyway, let's get a nose. Yeah, I mean, it's very similar to that Tavern Cut off the top of my head. And I... I, again, I should have looked at that review. I should do that when I review something like this where it's like the, the bigger, the older sibling and whatnot, where it's like it's just a bumped up version of it just to see if I get the same thing. But I remember, I think I said Tangelo. I definitely probably said Tangerine, but I, I feel like I said Tangelo. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look, but that's what it smells like, Tangelo to a T. If you've never had Tangelo, Tangerine Grapefruit Hybrid, it's fucking phenomenal. One of the juiciest citrus fruits you'll ever have. And that's what it just smells like. This smells like sweet citrus fruit, but super juicy pulpy, so to speak. How many times can I say so to speak? Probably another 20. I don't know. We'll see. So to speak. Yeah, but super, super juicy, pulpy. It just has a bright citrus character to it. And I'm not getting like zestiness to it. Now. I'm not getting like a, you know, a rind or anything like that. I'm just getting the sweeter part of a citrus fruit and more to the orange tangelo tangerine side of things. A little bit of like an under ripened peach, maybe apricot, stone fruit for sure. A touch of a mango. The alcohol is somewhat noticeable. Now, I'm not saying this smells like an almost 11% beer, but I would guess definitely in a double IPA range, probably closer to like nine, eight and a half, nine. And they hide the alcohol well on pretty much all their beers. So this one um, is an, an outlier to some extent. But yeah, it smells really good. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to get into it. So cheers, everybody. Thanks again, Jeremiah. So the alcohol, a little bit noticeable, but it's not bad at all from that aspect. This is one of the bigger bodies I've had from them. This is like higher side of medium, lower side of full, which is kind of in the wheelhouse for a triple IPA. That's 10.5%. Personally, I like triple IPs that have like a medium to higher side of medium body. I kind of, my triple, my ideal triple IPs are the ones that are, you know, 10 to 10 and a half percent, but have a body of like a seven and a half, eight percent. 
This is a little big, bigger body. Bowel feels fucking phenomenal, and I knew it would be because Hot Butcher has awesome mouth feels, but this is really crazy soft on the palate. Mm -hmm. More so than almost any of their other beers. Really soft, smooth, not super creamy, but just so soft. I mean, there's carbonation, but like when you first take a sip, that's the first thing that I notice is the mouthfeel. It's fantastic. So body, appropriate for the ABV and the style. Uh, I'd like a little bit thinner, but that's just, again, a personal preference and the mouthfeel is outstanding like most of their beers. The taste of fall soup. I cannot stress enough how much of a pulpy, sweet, tangelo, tangerine, orange kind of component this has. And that's right at the forefront. It's like you almost you took a swig of some kind of orange juice. And that hits me right at the front, and it's sweet. Passes through the palate. They say floral grapefruit. I do get like a more of a zesty citrus tone mid palate, like grapefruit or like the rind of a tangerine or orange, and that that kind of mixes with this underripe and peach and mango. So more of like a peach and mango kind of flavor without the uh, sweetness. Kind of just like you know just underripened. It's not fully sweet yet. As it passes through the rest of the palate a mild to moderate bitterness kind of approaches. And it's more of like a slight dankness. There's also a little bit of that alcohol stringency hits on the back end. And I actually, I think I enjoy that in this one because it is super sweet, the first half of the palate. So that alcohol creeps in, that bitterness creeps in, and it just cuts that sweetness. Because I feel if like the sweetness just continued through and through. This might be a tough beer for me to put down if it was that sweet at 10.5%. I don't think I would want it that sweet, honestly. Yeah, the, the alcohol definitely cuts it, and so does the bitterness. I mean, that finish, it lingers. There's like a little bit of a pine resin, but a little bit of like an alcohol stringency, and it has like a semi-dry to full-on dry finish. So I really like the balance between the sweetness and the dryness along with the bitterness. I think it works extremely well. 10.5%, like I said, I would guess, not 10.5, but I guess around 9. That, that's where I would go with this one. I'd say about 9%. So it hides the alcohol relatively well, but not as great as some of the other triple IPs I've had from them and some of the other triple IPs in general. But as is... It's another damn good beer from Hot Butcher. Do I like it as much as Tavern Cut? Um, no, I think Tavern Cut for me was more in that, more in that just ABV range that I enjoy, which is like seven and a half, eight percent. Um, and I think it just drank a little bit better. But if you want something that has the punch of that beer, maybe even a little bit more, and you want more alcohol, then this would be uh, the preference. But for me, I think I like Tavern Cut a little bit bigger than this, but I do think this is impressive and a good beer. So a deeper dish from Hot Butcher. I'm going to go uh, low 4.25 out of 5 and go 4.15 out of 5. I think it's really damn good. I don't remember I gave ta Tavern Cut. It had to be like a 4.25, 4.3, something like that. But I think this one is almost as good as that one for me. Uh, but just the slight alcohol, um, you know, astringency on the palate uh, and the fact that it's a bigger uh, body too. Um, again, these are all personal preferences, like most of my reviews. But, like, I could see somebody drinking this one and be like, oh, that blows away Tavern Cut. Like, I like that. I like the bigger body. I like the alcohol. I like all that stuff. For me, the body a little bit. When it comes, Let me put it this way. When it comes to IPAs, I don't like huge bodies. I don't like syrupy, um, you know, bodies and, and mouthfeels and stuff. I want something that's going to be drinkable and enjoyable. And this is drinkable and enjoyable, but it's skirting the lines. I think if um, it was a little bit even bigger in body or had a little bit more alcohol stringency, I wouldn't want to drink this nearly as much as Tavern Cup. But I think my preference is Tavern Cup, but I still think this is a good beer, 4.15 out of 5. So uh, rating, uh, rating um, <laughs> value and availability. Value, I think this is $17.99 a four-pack for 10.5%. Triple IPA, yeah, I mean, that's 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 less than five bucks a can, and it's quality through and through, so that's a great uh, value. Uh, availability, Chicagoland, as I mentioned in all my Hot Butcher reviews. Um, if anybody out there has had this one, uh, you probably had this one, you know, by the time I post this, two months ago, maybe even older. Um, but if you've had this one, let me know what you think about it. If you've had this one and Tavern Cut, let me know your preference. Like I said, Tavern Cut for me by, like, maybe a quarter rating, uh, but I still think they're both damn tasty and good beers. I just, Tavern Cut just gets the edge. So appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Thanks again to Jeremiah for hooking me up with this one. And until the next one, cheers.